While Hummer is a well-known brand, the Hummer EV will be an all-new model within the GMC lineup. Only the most expensive Edition 1 model will be available at first. Less expensive trims will come into the picture soon. For the time being, the Hummer EV's only powertrain option is a three-electric motor setup that produces 1,000 horsepower and about 1,000 to 1,100 foot-pounds of torque. All-wheel drive is standard, and GMC estimates 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 3.0 seconds, which the company says is possible because of the truck's Watts to Freedom Launch Control operating mode. In addition, the Hummer EV also boasts of a towing capacity of 7,500 to 11,000 pounds and a payload capacity of 1,500 to 3,500 pounds. The Hummer EV is powered by GM's innovative Ultium battery pack technology and has a range of 350 miles per charge. GMC claims that the Hummer's 800-volt electrical architecture with 350-kilowatt fast charging capacity will add 100 miles of range in just 10 minutes. For buyers who don't have any DC fast charging stations nearby, the Hummer EV can be charged on standard public charging terminals or at home using the included adapter, although charging durations will be much longer. EPA fuel economy estimates for the Hummer EV are 51 MPGE city, 43 MPGE highway, and 47 MPGE combined. The Rivian R1T, by comparison, gets 74 MPGE in the city, 66 MPGE on the highway, and 70 MPGE combined. Unlike previous Hummers, which were mostly SUVs, the Hummer EV is a crew cab pickup truck with a five-foot-long bed. Given the Hummer's price tag and the fact that its cabin isn't as spacious as GMC's Sierra crew cab pickup truck, the interior materials could be of higher quality. Several moon-inspired touches, such as moon boot footprint on the dead pedal, a sea of tranquility-themed floor mat, and speaker grills, serve as not-so-subtle reminders of GM's link to NASA astronauts and the electrically driven Apollo 15 lunar rover that the corporation helped engineer. The reborn Hummer is General Motors' latest electric pickup truck. It is quite the beast. It has four separate removable roof panels with one over each seat. However, an innovative removable roof that reintroduces a T-top style design common in GM sports and muscle vehicles in the 1970s and 1980s can be used to open the cabin to the elements. When the panels are in place, they are glass and are tinted also to keep the sun out of the interior. When you click the button next to the rear view mirror, the back window also glides down. This gives the impression of being outside, especially if the roof panels are removed. The interior color schemes of the Hummer could be confused for those of present Apple products, but the black and white vegan leather and bronze metallic accents are actually a nod to the original Lunar Rover, which GM helped to build in the 1960s. Just about the only design traits that read Hummer are the huge, meaty grab handles and blocky, enormous HVAC vents. The central one is even subtly designed like an H. The dashboard is another interesting thing to talk about. The center screen, which is incredibly huge and has various fascinating features, is the main focus of the dashboard. The G-meter and a drift meter, which reveals your greatest drift angle, are also displayed on the screen. The infotainment screen is a big 13.4-inch display, and there's also a 12.3-inch digital instrument panel. The graphics for the Hummer EV's infotainment interface were created by Epic Games, the creators of the immensely famous Fortnite video game. You can adjust the drive modes with a dial in the center by twisting it and the drive mode changes, and each new drive mode is displayed on the screen. Although the high-resolution screen and complex visuals seem excellent, the system lacks the processing capability to keep up with the software's capabilities. A host of connectivity features are standard, including Apple CarPlay, Android Auto capability, a Wi-Fi hotspot, and GM's OnStar telematics system. The air suspension may be raised or lowered using the two buttons with the image of the truck pointing up or down on the drive mode dial. It can go all the way up for higher ground clearance or all the way down for easier entry and exit. GM says the top raised suspension mode will have around 16 inches of ground clearance, which is a huge figure. Two more nice interior buttons are located to the left of the driving wheel. One can pull down all of the windows at once which is a really cool feature that has not been seen since the Hummer H2 had it years ago. The front truck is opened with the other button. If you are loving the video up until now, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the like button for one year of good luck. Now, let's talk about the front truck, which can be opened automatically and electrically by hitting the button stated before or tapping a button on the key fob.
or by pressing a small popper under the trunk. There's a cargo storage facility that's quite large and has a lock. Next is the camera system. On the outside of this vehicle, there are 18 different cameras to show you the truck from every perspective. There's even one under the vehicle that you can use to see if you're likely to turn over while off-roading. Because this vehicle is a GMC, it has a unique feature called the Multi-Pro Tailgate, which is only found in GMC models. The tailgate may be dropped just as normal as you can with any pickup truck, but in the Hummer EV, you can separately drop a little center section and use it as a step to climb into the bed. There's also a railing you can pop out and grab onto to help you get access into the bed with ease. The Hummer EV has a cool four-wheel steering feature that allows it to crab sideways, that is, drive diagonally, all of which should make it fun to take off-road. The rear wheels will adjust to a maximum angle of 10 degrees and won't go further. Electric pickup trucks are the next frontier for electric vehicles, with Rivian and Tesla preparing their own entries into this emerging industry. Driving the Hummer EV on the street is similar to driving any huge pickup truck. Acceleration is outstanding, as is the braking performance, and the truck is so massive that even strong side winds on the highway do not affect it. It rides nicely, with a smooth, well-damped ride thanks to the mix of tall sidewall tires and adjustable air suspension. When you add in the unexpected road noise, the experience is eerily similar to driving a dedicated off-road heavy-duty pickup. In the EV market, Tesla's semi-autonomous autopilot feature is the one to beat. But luckily for the Hummer EV, GM's Super Cruise system is just as capable and comes standard. There are also less advanced functions like lane keeping assist and blind spot monitoring. Only the top edition one trim with its six figure price tag will be available for launch. It comes standard with an adjustable air suspension, Super Cruise semi-autonomous driving mode, a power operated tonneau cover, and a large 13.4 inch multimedia display, all of which are available on the Hummer EV. The Hummer EV 3X will be the next to go on sale and is scheduled for the fall of 2022. The Hummer EV 2X and Hummer EV 2, which have a less powerful two-motor drivetrain, will be available in 2023 and 2024 respectively. The Hummer EV is the brand's rebirth and it will go on sale shortly with a sticker price of over $100,000 for the top-of-the-line Edition 1 model, which has already sold out. More affordable versions will be available shortly, with prices starting at $80,000 and going up.